Hello everyone, continuing the series of weekly contests. Now let's shoot for the second question. Count artifacts that can be extracted. Also, if you find today's solution interesting, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. That will give me the motivation to continue my journey ahead. Here in this question, we are given an N cross N size matrix. That means it's a 2D matrix. And we are given the positions wherein the artifacts are placed on that grid. Along with this, we are also given the positions wherein the mud is digged out from the grid. So consider a case, there is a grid where artifacts are placed and all of them are covered with mud. We are give, also given the positions where the mud can be uncovered and the artifacts can be unsurfaced. There is an important condition that is specified. You can vacate some cells of the grid and remove all the mud from them. If the cell has a part of an artifact that is buried underneath, it will be uncovered. If all parts of an artifacts are uncovered, then only you can extract it. What we need to do, we need to identify the number of artifacts that can be extracted. From this statement, it, it is clearly understandable that in case an artifact has a part that is buried under mud, it can't be extracted. Moving further, let's quickly walk through the presentation and I'll be walking you through the example as well as the algorithm to go about it by the PPT. So let's quickly hop onto it. So let's get started. Count artifacts that can be extracted. Lead code 2201. It's a medium level question on lead code. However, I feel it's, it's an easy question. Why? You will understand it in some time. Let's consider a hypothetical scenario. The question stated that there is a grid of size n cross n which is completely covered with mud. All the cells in that grid are covered with mud. Also, there are artifacts placed underneath. So here you can see four types of artifacts. One highlighted in blue which covers this particular range. Other highlighted in red which covers this particular range. Green that is highlighted over here. And the fourth one is this transparent orange that is highlighted just now. Along with this, it is specified that you are able to uncover few cells from the mud. So let's hypothetically assume that you were able to uncover these three cells. So let's remove C from here and write UC. UC signifies uncovered area. UC signifies uncovered area. UC signifies uncovered area. And Along with this, let's assume that this cell, this cell was also uncovered. And now what we need to do, since we have marked all those cells that could be uncovered, we need to simply iterate over the artifacts index, indexes and check whether all the cells wherein the artifact is placed has been uncovered or not. Let me just change the color of pen for better, better understanding. We know the coordinates of the artifacts. We will walk through these two cells and check whether we have a covered mud area or not. Here in this case, it does exist. So this will not contribute to the answer. Let's walk through the other one. Here, all these cells are covered. It will also not contribute to the answer. Here again, we can see a portion that is covered with mud. It will not contribute to the answer. However, in the last case, you will see that the entire artifact can be is uncovered in nature as a result of which it can be extracted. As a result, the answer for this particular kind of a problem happens to be 1. In case you see that any portion of the artifact is still covered with mud, you can't simply extract it up and it will not contribute to your answer. This is what we are going to do. So let's quickly hop onto the coding section and it's a very easy problem and you guys will totally agree with me. Here I have created a boolean array that simply represents the entire 2D matrix and the value, the name that I have given this matrix is uncovered. Uncovered happens to be false by default as a result of which we can say that the entire grid is covered in nature. I iterate through the dig array and I simply update my uncovered to true at x and y indexes. So digged at the 0th index gives me x coordinate, digged at the first index gives me y coordinate. Once we are done with this, we have appropriately uncovered all the cells. Now I go ahead and create a count variable. I iterate through the artifacts array. I have created a variable can be extracted. And by default, I have given it a value true. I iterate through the entire X and Y coordinates, the range up till which the artifact is placed. And it is simply given by the starting X coordinate would be this, the ending X coordinate would be this, the 
starting y coordinate would be this the ending y coordinate would be this in case i am able to identify a cell which is still covered in nature that means uncovered of i comma j happens to be false i will simply update my can be extracted variable to false because it can't be extracted and i break it out of the loop once i am out of the loop i again check if my can be extracted happens to be true if it is that means we were not able to identify any cell that was covered in the range of artifact i update my count variable and simply return it as my final answer pretty simple and straightforward no rocket science over here this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it and uh, i believe you will also feel the same that this question is not that critical either also please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel if you like today's solution thanks for watching it have a great day ahead and stay tuned i am solving more questions in the queue